What's going on everyone? In the last video, we talked about going over some shrimp chemicals and today is the day. I have them here in front of me and we are ready to go. But before we get started with this, go ahead and click that subscribe button and that little bell icon. That's gonna let you know every time we post new content like this and every time we go live. Let's get it going. So in the last video, we talked about Aqua Vitro's shrimp enrichment accessories. Those were fantastic. If you missed that video, I will post a link to it here and down below. And we now have another Aqua Vitro product for you. Aqua Vitro is an advanced line of chemicals from Seachem that you can only find in local stores. You're not going to find this stuff online. So if you're keeping shrimp or are interested in keeping shrimp, you may already know that shrimp need a certain set of minerals to stay healthy. They need well-balanced water parameters that can actually change depending on the type of shrimp you're keeping. And that's where products like this Aqua Vitro shrimp line is going to come in handy. So we're going to take it from the beginning by talking about shrimp start. Shrimp, 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 shrimp. So Shrimp Start is just your basic water conditioner. It's going to take out your chlorines, chloramines, detoxify your ammonias, nitrates, nitrites, all of that good stuff. It's also going to detoxify heavy metals and doesn't affect your pH at all. And to be honest, there's not much that is going to set this apart from their other water conditioners like Seed or Prime. Honestly, I think the biggest benefit with choosing Shrimp Start over Seed would be the matching set of bottles, especially if where you're keeping them is visible. Okay, so with Start out of the way, it's time to talk about probably the most important set of chemicals out of all five of these. And that's going to be Shrimp pH A and Shrimp pH B. This is actually a two-part dosing system, and that's going to give you more accurate results. And to explain it a little more, I'm actually just going to jump right into the directions here. So Shrimp A is for lowering your pH. Shrimp B is for raising your pH. To achieve the best results, you're probably going to want to start off with reverse osmosis or distilled water. The conditions from your tap water can vary. Here in Indiana, it's super hard and alkaline. Aqua Vitro Shrimp pH A is one part of a two-part system which aids in replicating the water chemistry found in native habitats for freshwater shrimp by buffering water to the natural pH for each specific type of shrimp. Uh, used according to directions, shrimp pH A maintains the proper pH parameters of freshwater shrimp while also softening water and supporting growth of plants in shrimp aquaria. Shrimp PHA is made from a unique buffer system that is extremely stable, extremely stable, and does not add sodium, which can damage plants in the aquarium. Uh, so in summary, this pair of chemicals is just going to get you to the proper water parameters for your shrimp. And it's going to do so stably, which is actually really important to note because a lot of these reactions that happen with some of these buffers happen quickly and it's not a stable, slow, steady change at all. Shrimp can be pretty sensitive to changes like this, so you want something that's going to be stable and easy on those shrimp. Another great thing about these is that they're not salt-based, which can damage your plants. And I don't know about you, but if I'm keeping shrimp, I'm keeping live plants too. Uh, so you're actually going to use these at the same time, dumping them in the tank separately but together. And now on the back here, you're going to notice that there are uh, different sets of instructions here. Uh, and that's going to be the different parameters for your different types of shrimp. We have crystal and bee shrimp, neocardinias, tiger shrimp, salalusi shrimp. And all of these types have different ideal target pH ranges. So on the back, it gives you the dosing to achieve any one of those particular ranges. These are your powerhouse chemicals. And like I said before, probably the most important two in this whole set. If you're only grabbing a couple to try it out, these are the ones to go for. Okay, next up, that's going to bring us to Shrimp XO. So Shrimp XO is an interesting supplement to have. Its purpose is to raise the iodide levels in the tank. Now the thing about that is, is that most of your shrimp are getting plenty of iodide through the algae that they are eating. And it's typically not that necessary to dose supplementally into your tank. However, if you are worried about it, Shrimp XO is the way to go. And again, that is because it is a stable chemical. If you overdo this, it can be catastrophe for your tank. You do not want to overdose this. If you feel the need to add iodide into your tank, which honestly you shouldn't, uh, but if you're gonna do it in a shrimp tank, this is the way to go. 
All right, so that's gonna bring us to the end of the line, which is Shrimp GH. Ah, Shrimp GH adds a complete spectrum of minerals to the Shrimp Aquarium. It takes into consideration both the mineral requirements of shrimp and the mineral content of their natural waters in order to create an optimal shrimp environment. Shrimp GH adds calcium, magnesium, potassium, and iron, as well as six trace minerals, all in the appropriate environmental ratios for shrimp. Shrimp GH is your Flintstone vitamin for your shrimp. You should be giving them a high quality food source so they can get the majority of the nutrition they need there, but giving them a boost with shrimp GH and those extra minerals and stuff like that is just going to make a healthier specimen. And you're gonna see the benefits of that in both the coloration and activity of your shrimp. And that's shrimp GH. So overall, a super comprehensive line of shrimp specific chemicals. They are super good at doing what they're made to do. I personally prefer liquid supplements over salt supplements when it comes to mineralization for shrimp. And these are just super, super easy to dose. Now, speaking of dosing, dosing is going to technically be different for every tank as your water parameters are going to start off in different places. That's another reason that earlier I mentioned using reverse osmosis water or distilled water as your base as it's going to be the most neutral. There's also certain rocks and substrate that are going to affect your pH as well. And because of that, that could potentially affect the buffering capacity of these chemicals and you may need to use a little more or reach a certain uh, breaking point on your buffering capacity. But overall, we are pretty big fans of the Aqua Vitro shrimp line of chemicals. So again, the full set looks nice, but if you're not using tap water, using a reverse osmosis base and you don't think you need the iodide, grab that A and B and the GH and your golden. Between these chemicals and a high quality diet and keeping up on your water changes, you shouldn't have any issues with those shrimp. So thanks for hanging out with me today. Before you leave, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Also hit that little bell icon. That's gonna let you know every time that we go live and every time we post new content just like this. We'll see you in the next one. Later. Trippy with it. Na 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 na.